This is the Ben Burr Trail. It's been a path since the 1800s when it was a railroad line. Now, the rails were moved in the 1950s and it's been like that ever since. Now some members of the East Central neighborhood are asking the city just to leave it the way it is. There won't be a nature trail, it'll be a transportation corridor. Jerry Numbers has been walking and playing on the Ben Burr Trail for more than 50 years. And now he and some of his East Central neighbors are opposing a plan to pave the path. It's great to see bike, bike connectivity improving in our city, but this isn't the right place for it. The city received a $1.7 million federal grant to create a paved path from 11th to the Centennial Trail in the University District. The deal is the grant requires a 10 to 12 foot wide asphalt path with two foot shoulders on each side. Here's 14, here's 15, so you're looking at 16 feet. Those trees will be gone. These trees will be gone. Uh, you can see how far out the trail is going to have to be built out. Neighbor Robin Kaiser says paving the path and adding the required railings would ruin the trail. We like to keep a little bit of nature still around rather than having a paved city. The neighbors say they're not opposed to the project, just the part that involves the Ben Burr Trail. We want change. We want a connection from the end of the trail to the Centennial Trail. Leave this alone and then connect to the Centennial Trail. That's the change that's important. City spokesperson Julie Happy says the city's hands are tied. The grant requires the path be paved. We either say no, we don't want the funds, and we don't do the trail, or we accept the funds and the parameters that surround those funds. The city is expected to make a decision about what to do early next year. In the East Central neighborhood, Eric Loney, KXY4 News.